Okay, now if you remember, just a week ago, I posted a question on the community tab asking you guys whether you have got the One UI 4.1 update on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra or not. 70% of you guys said yes and 30% of you guys said no. Uh, most of the countries in the Asian region did not get this update all this while. I'm not sure what Samsung was doing. Even though this was a two generation old flagship device, many of us did not get this update on time. That is really strange and this is not what we expect from Samsung. Anyways, finally I have got this update on the Exynos variant of this Note 20 Ultra and I'm sure most of you guys who have been waiting for this update have already got it yesterday. Now in this video, I just wanted to keep you guys posted about this new update we have received. As you can see here, the change log talks about all the new features on One UI 4.1. I will not be elaborating all these features because these features we have already discussed in the past on the channel. There are many videos which I have already made on One UI 4.1. So if you want to understand these features better, you can go through the channel. More or less all the features have been discussed already. Now coming to this change log, as you can see, we have got the security patch level for 1st March 2022, even though many of the older flagships have already got the April security patch. And again, we will have to wait for the security patch for this month and next month. And going forward, I feel that the updates will keep getting delayed for this device, which is really annoying. Anyways, as you can see in the change log, we have got some improvements. We have got some camera improvements, enhanced night portraits. Uh, in the gallery section, we have got powerful remastering, more suggestions, portrait effects, portrait relighting, convert unnecessary motion photos to still images, share albums as links, improvements in shared invitations section, creating time-lapse videos. This is in the gallery section. Then we have got some improvements in the AR zone. Then yeah, of course, this cool feature, the smart widget is here. That is fantastic. We've got some features added on Google Duo. We can do more during video calls. We can join video calls in presentation mode on the tablets. Then there is some improvements in the Samsung health section, smart switch, smart things find, sharing. Now we can use quick share to share the Wi-Fi network. We can include editing history when you share the pictures and videos and we can also share the tips with others. Under more features and improvements, we have got color palettes, smart suggestions, clean up shadows and reflections in photo editor, add emojis to your calendar, take quick notes while you browse. This is a cool feature which I would like to discuss in the future in the upcoming video. I will elaborate how this whole feature works. Then we have got choose apps for text correction in Samsung keyboard. More widely available keyboard options, customize your sound balance. So this is available in the accessibility settings, which we have already discussed in the past. New actions for Bixby routines, which have been added. Customize your virtual memory. We have got the RAM plus in the device care, where we can select different RAM options. Then we have got game optimization service, which can be enabled or disabled to improve the performance of the games. These are the new features we have got on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Exynos variant. If you remember on the S22 Ultra, we can use the Yes Pen to write on the search fields, which automatically detects what we have written and it converts into text so that it is easier to search on many of the applications. That is missing here. And this feature was missing even on the Note 10 Plus. Now, if you have found any features which are missing on this update, do share it in the comment section below. And if you want to understand this One UI 4.1 features better, I have made a couple of detailed videos on all the features on One UI 4.1. I will leave the links for those videos in the description. You can go ahead and check them out. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all the new features that you get on your phone, tips and tricks, best applications and contents related to your Galaxy watches and anything and everything related to technology. Be sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. That's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.